What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this Chord Progression Monday, we are going to check out a song from the Studio Ghibli movie, Arietti. Self-titled Arietti song, right? If you're unfamiliar with Studio Ghibli, they make some of the best movies and it's full of outstanding music. And this one is no different. It gives us an opportunity to talk a little bit about capo usage and some simple finger style chord melody. So let's check it out and we'll come back and break it down. So as you can hear, it's a really beautiful piece of music and it gives us an opportunity to talk a little bit about how to use a capo on a little classical or finger style guitar, okay? So I am in standard tuning here and we do have this capo on the third fret. So if you're unfamiliar with what that does, it essentially moves the nut up and now everything on the third fret becomes our open strings. And this allows us to play in higher keys, higher up on the fretboard, but while keeping our standard open position chords. And what do I mean by that? I mean C, G, E minor, D. It allows us to keep those very simple shapes that we're all used to down here, but right here without playing complicated chords, right? So I really wanna focus on the chorus of this song, right? The intro melody is a nice little simple melody around G minor. And then you have this little chord expose that leads us up to the chorus. And for the most part, those chords are essentially this E minor or moving to an A sus back to here with a little D thrown in there, okay? So, and that leads us to the chorus, and now your chorus are, is these chords. And I'm gonna name them with their chord shapes rather than the actual notes we're playing, but I'll mention those as well, okay? So we're essentially playing D. A C to a G to an F. Back to the G, back to the F, back to the G, to the E minor. Okay? Now, again, given that these the third fret is now our open strings, it's really an F chord to an E flat chord to a B flat chord. A flat chord. Okay, just so you're aware. And the melody is very simple. Right, and to do that, we're going to play the D. And you'll notice that when I move to the C shape chord, in the style of guitar, we can get away with not playing the entire chord. Right? We can kind of get away with just the root note and the melody note and occasionally filling in the inner voicings. Okay, so we have this. And 
and then there it's going to be three open string, three one. And I'm saying three open, three one, because that's how you're going to see the tabs written out, right? Because it's, it's telling you that we're playing a, with a capo and everything is in relation to that. So we are playing open, one, three, open, stuff like that, okay? And the melody climbs down to the A, what would be the A there. A note within the F chord, I should say. And you can see there that we kind of pick out the inner voicings of those chords to try to connect them a little bit. We go back. So I definitely encourage you to put on a capo on your, on your guitar, explore some higher keys with these new chords. You can find the link for the tabs for the example, some of the example that I played here, right, from a fantastic movie. And I hope you guys dig that. It's a great movie. It's a great piece of music. And I love playing cinematic music on the guitar because it gets you out of that rock world, power chord world. All right. So as always, down in the description, you can find the links to the tabs. As always, let me know what you come up with. And until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.